Hi, I'm Chris Wardlaw for CarGurus, and this shiny bauble behind me is the redesigned 2019 GMC Sierra Halfton pickup. It's improved in every way, and the new Sierra is bigger, more capable, and more useful than ever before. The competition in this segment is relentlessly fierce, though. Each truck from Ford, Nissan, Ram, and Toyota worthy of merit in their own ways. Yes, even the Nissan. Anyway, let's go for a drive and take a closer look at the new Sierra. Like all full-size trucks, the new Sierra is available in a wide range of cab styles, cargo box styles, trim levels, and powertrains. New trim levels for 2019 include the Elevation, which builds off of the SLE trim with a customized look, and an off-roading model that's called the AT4, which builds on SLT trim. Prices start at $29,600 for a standard Sierra regular cab with two-wheel drive. My test truck is the popular Denali in crew cab standard bed configuration. The base price is a cool $54,700 before you add the $1,495 destination charge. To this, my test truck adds dark sky metallic paint, a 6.2 liter V8 engine, a 10 speed automatic transmission, four wheel drive, the ultimate package, and the trailer camera package. The price tag for what I'm driving is $68,085, including the destination charge. Now, every version of the new Sierra is bigger and bolder inside and out. My Denali, as you can see, is dripping in chrome and features what GM says is a, quote, more dominant presence. This, apparently, is the company's bid to woo the less confident members of the species. Whatever you think about this truck's looks, I'll tell you this. In my working class neighborhood and in the nearby horse country where I shoot photos, this Denali swiveled heads everywhere I went. I'll take that as an approval of the new design by the people who know trucks best. Inside, the new Sierra looks similar to the old one, but with nicer materials. Denali versions include premium leather, open pour wood trim, and aluminum accents. Still, the lower half of the cabin is constructed of shiny, inexpensive looking plastic, which, if you're actually going to use this as a truck and not as a rolling confidence booster, is probably for the best. My Denali test truck has the optional power side steps, which make it much easier to climb into and out of this truck. Once you're inside, the big, firm, supportive front seats are quite comfortable. In the Denali, they're heated and ventilated up front, while the outboard rear seats are also heated. There's a heated steering wheel, too. As a part of the 2019 Sierra's upsizing, rear seat legroom in the crew cab grows by three inches. No doubt you'll be able to fit three big and burly people like me back there without a problem. Like all big pickup trucks, the Sierra's interior is loaded with places to store things. The point, though, is the cargo bed, which is deeper and wider and more voluminous than before. One of the Sierra's primary differentiators is the available multi-pro tailgate. It offers six different settings, ranging from a workstation to a step that you can use to climb into the bed. If you're limber and just need quick access to the bed, the Sierra's rear bumper has larger corner steps this year. GMC also equips the truck with 12 cargo tie-downs, each one rated at 500 pounds per corner, and offers a factory spray-in bed liner. The Sierra's cargo bed floor is made of roll-formed, high-strength steel, and GMC claims it is 50% stronger than last year's Sierra. You can also get a Carbon Pro carbon fiber reinforced plastic cargo box liner for this truck, which increases durability and makes for a great bragging point on Friday nights at the local bar. In addition to offering plenty of utility, the new Sierra is more sophisticated in terms of its technology, especially on higher trim levels. They all include a teen driver monitoring and report card system, and crew cabs have a rear seat reminder system designed to prevent you from accidentally leaving your kid in the car. All Sierras are available with front and rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert. Higher trim levels can be optioned with a bunch of driver assistance and collision avoidance systems. The Denali features a rear camera mirror and a slew of other camera views that help to make maneuvering this truck easier, including HD surround vision, and a trailer camera package with side mirror cameras on both sides of the truck. Next generation infotainment systems are standard across the board and the Denali is equipped with the best of them, including a navigation system and a Bose premium sound system. All Sierras include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Wi-Fi, and GMC connected services through OnStar, though the latter two features expire after a very short one month trial period. GMC says the Sierra Denali is the first half ton truck to offer a head up display. 
and one of my favorite things is how it graphically shows the driver how much he or she is exceeding the local speed limit. There's a new pro-grade advanced trailer package too, including hitch guidance with hitch view technology and a trailering app for your smartphone. Oh, and if you're wondering how much weight the new Sierra can tow and haul, GMC says that when it's properly equipped, it can handle up to 12,200 pounds of trailer and 2,240 pounds of payload. That still isn't as much as a Ford F-150 or a Ram 1500, but let me tell you a little secret. An engineer once told me that most half-ton truck buyers, they'll use maybe half that amount of capacity if they actually tow anything in the first place. People who are serious about towing and hauling, they don't buy half-ton trucks. They get heavy-duty models. My Denali test truck has the most powerful of the Sierra's six available drivetrains, however. The 6.2-liter V8 makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, transferred to the rear or all four wheels through a new 10-speed automatic transmission. It's got cylinder deactivation technology, which is supposed to help the engine conserve gas, though based on my driving, you'd never guess it. I averaged 15.4 miles per gallon in my testing loop, which was pretty far short of the EPA's predicted 17 miles per gallon in combined driving. And given the 26 gallon fuel tank, you're gonna be stopping every 400 miles to refill this thing, based on my experience. A new traction select system provides different driving modes to account for variable weather and terrain. Pair it with the two-speed auto track four-wheel drive system, and the Sierra is engineered to remain sure-footed in a variety of conditions. Most of my time with this truck, it was raining in Southern California. It's been a really wet winter around here. Also, flooding, mud, and rock slides had closed most of the mountain roads where I usually test vehicles, leaving me with ranch and farm roads in addition to my usual suburban surroundings. Given the vehicle, that's probably appropriate. Acceleration impresses, and while the transmission has 10 different gears, it never misses a beat. Granted, I didn't haul or tow anything with this truck, so perhaps people who use a Denali for its intended purpose might find flaws that I did not. My main complaint relates to the unimpressive fuel economy, but I suppose truck buyers expect it. As far as driving dynamics are concerned, the Denali is equipped with an exclusive adaptive ride control suspension, and it's terrific. Don't get me wrong, you're always aware that you're driving a truck, but the ride is sublime for a big pickup. The main issue is the 22-inch wheels, which telegraph sharper cracks and bumps right up into the cabin. At least the pavement-biased 275-50 tires don't make much noise on the highway. Speaking of big, you tower over most other vehicles while you're driving a Sierra Denali. Even older Sierras, the hood is massive, and in spite of parking sensors and a forward view camera, I had some trouble judging distances. Initially, I also found it necessary to brake earlier and harder than expected to bring the Sierra to a stop. This is a calibration issue though, so once you're accustomed to it, it ceases to be a problem. Okay, so the new GMC Sierra still isn't class leading when it comes to power, payload, or towing. You know what I say? Who cares? In real life, half-ton trucks are not defined by those characteristics. Instead, people choose one for how it looks, how it feels, how it makes them feel, and yes, even for how it sounds when it's accelerating. No doubt, given the popularity of the Sierra Denali, this new version will find plenty of eager buyers in truck-loving America. Be sure to read my full review of the new Sierra at Cargurus, and if you found this review helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For all of us here at Cargurus, thank you for watching.